Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to audit an Excel file. Before I do, here's a quick little trick. I have the southeast region, northeast, southwest, and grand total. If you want to add these numbers up, you know how to use auto sum, but that's actually not the fastest way. So I could come over here, auto sum, auto fill, but I'm not going to do that. Highlight this first range. Notice I stopped at the row, row total. I'm going to hold down the control key on the keyboard and highlight the other ranges. I'm going to let go of control, let go of the mouse. If you notice, I stopped in total. Give me an auto sum one time. There you go. Then highlight this range. Auto sum again. And what's really cool about this, if I go to B22, that is the sum of B20 and B13 and B7. So it picked up the subtotals within it. So now let me show you how to audit an Excel file. So here's another file that I created. I've got January through December with quarter one, two, three, and four. And the example in this is I have this on a shared drive and I have to present these numbers, but I didn't put them together. So I'm worried that the formulas are correct. So click on the largest number, which is 2158. Go to the Formulas tab at the top, and we're going to use the group called Formula Auditing. I'm going to click on Trace Precedents. If you notice, in every quarter I have a dot. Click Trace Precedents again. What I'm looking for is consistency in the file. So those numbers went into the quarters. Trace Precedents again. It picked up Georgia and Florida to get these totals. And one more Trace Precedents. So that looks pretty consistent. I'm going to remove the arrows. I'm still on 2158. Trace dependence will show you everything dependent on that number. So that's an absolute reference right there. Now if you're saying, well, how does it look if it's incorrect? Trace precedence. So far, so good. Uh, we already got a mistake right here. Uh, still doesn't look right, not consistent. So this is definitely an example of something that's not correct. Hopefully that helps with how to audit a spreadsheet from the formulas group, formulas tab, formula auditing group. Thanks.